Tom from TDD, Tom's Tech Time today in the scary Mary mode. Bloody hell, people. Today we want to show you <laughs> what the LED what the LED blinking of our phantom means. It's carnival here in Germany and I tried to get things scary for you. Guys, check out this very special episode. <laughs> DJ I made six. <laughs> When you start your Phantom, the computer inside the copter does a short self-test first. It takes only a few seconds, keep calm and subscribe to my channel while waiting. The green-yellow combination shows that the copter is warming up. This takes a few seconds again, is completely normal and gives you the time to enjoy a drink or something special to eat. The super fast green flashing light signalizes us that the copter is locking the current GPS position. Don't start. Wait until the process is over. In case of a failsafe, the copter returns to that position. So don't already bring it up in the air. It might land in the sea or on your neighbor's house and you might never see it again if your neighbor hates you. The slow blinking green light signalizes that the copter is ready for takeoff and that it's connected to at least six satellites. Perfect conditions everybody, rock the sky. An orange, slow flashing light shows us that the copter is ready to fly, but be careful, it's connected to less than 6 GPS satellites. A continuously blinking yellow light signalizes that the copter has lost the connection with the RC. If you're flying in GPS mode, the copter will switch into the failsafe mode after a few seconds and land at its starting position. Please check out my failsafe tutorial to learn how to use this super important function that can save your ass and money. I'll put a link at the end of the video. A slow red flashing means that only 30% of the battery power is left, if you haven't set it to a different percentage within the assistance software before. At this time you get a warning on your phone if you're flying with a Phantom 2 Vision. You can still regularly fly the copter around and feel like God and watching the earth from above, bam. Fast blinking red lights show that only 15% of the battery's power is left if you haven't set it to a different percentage within the assistance software before. At this time you get a warning on your phone if you're flying with a Phantom 2 Vision. The copter starts to sink independently. You can still move it to a landing position. You can fly forwards, backwards, right and left, but you can't pull it up further. Make sure to find a landing position before it crashes into your neighbor's tree and he might hit your face or eat your cow or steal your wife. Oh, that wasn't funny again. Please excuse my bad, bad, bad humor. The red-yellow, red-yellow combo shows that the compass needs to be calibrated again. Calibrating the compass is easy and of course there's an awesome tutorial of mine showing you how to get that done. Just check my channel or click at the link at the end of this episode. Check it out. Three red flashes show that we gotta keep our copter stationary. Right now you can try to link it with your computer. Start the assistant software, click at tools and check the IMU calibration. You can do a basic or advanced calibration at that point. It's easy. Uh, maybe check out my channel. There might be a video uploaded to that. A continuous red flashing shows that a bigger error has occurred. Try to run the copter with the assistance software and check for the error source. Or contact your dealer or just throw it away or jump on it and try to fix it that way. Let your dog pee on it. That's German way of fixing technology. Sometimes that helps. No, actually it doesn't. <laughs> 